Alrighty, there we go. I'm back. Bill will turn his mic back on in a second, I'm sure. But uh, all right, cool. We're back, ladies and gentlemen, and we are going to hit up some uh, par three action. By the way, Tittle, I know uh, if you're still watching, um, yeah, we were uh, off stream. Me and Bill were talking about how much fun it would have been uh, to have somebody who was in the chat just be like, yeah, I'll join you guys. Obviously, I could play better. My God, how bad did you guys play? Because we played pretty bad. So that would have been a lot of fun. Someday. That day is not today, of course. All right. So instead, me and Bill are going to play something shorter. And I have a plethora of golf courses I've been itching to try, including a couple that I think are shorter. So we're going to give them a go. Uh, today, what I like, the big one we really want to play, I'm a, I belong to... TechBud's Patreon, he has the beta of Aaron Hills. As a guy who's been to Aaron Hills, I am looking forward to seeing that golf course so badly. Why aren't we playing that? We're not going to play that because it's 18 holes oh. and it's going to take forever and I don't want to be here for another two hours. I got other things I need to do today. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to go to one of these other courses. So we have to choose. I have two courses in my repertoire that we could try. So maybe we go to another TechBud exclusive. There you go. Let's head up another TechBud exclusive, the Double Eagle Golf Club, which I have not downloaded. So I'll have to download it real quick. So let's see. Show all courses. Oh, what does that say? I can't read it. Double Eagle Golf Club par four, three. That's one we want. All right, here we go. So the Double Eagle Golf Club par three course is what we will try again. Uh, this is a TechBud creation, um, which I get access to because I give TechBud money every month. And by the way, everybody else should give TechBud money every month because the guy is really incredible and he does a very good job. We Thanks. like TechBud around here. Thanks, TechBud. You bet. I have started my own golf course that I'm going to design someday, but it turns out life won't let me ever actually get back to it. So good if, luck. You, if you design um, Village Green, make sure your tee boxes start with a three degree slope in any direction. <laughs> Inside Fargo Moorhead joke right there for the internet. <laughs> That's fair. Um, I would really like to do MCC. And I heard a rumor that Clubhouse in South Moorhead paid someone to do it, and it's just never materialized. So mm. they either didn't or they went out of business beforehand, or I don't know. But I would like to do MCC because I just think it would be a lot of fun. It's a golf course that's brutal. I think in here it would be equally brutal. Um, but it would allow me to do things that I think would be a lot of fun, like go for the green on hole three, go for the green on hole 10. Things I never do in real life because I don't want to lose my golf ball. But I'm never <laughs> going to virtually lose a golf ball. So I believe the phrase bring it on comes to mind, right? Yeah. So I would like to design it. I'd love to design golf courses. I just, life will not permit it. Maybe someday, but that day ain't today. So someday. All right, so 61%. So I have no idea if this golf course is any good. We're going to find out. It does exist in real life, I'm told, in Galena, Ohio. You know who's from Galena, Ohio? You recognize nope. that name? Uh, sounds familiar, but I don't know who. Ulysses Esker. That's a weird thing to know. Don't ask me why I know that. I'm Jeopardy smart. I know things, but they're not things that serve me any real purpose in my life. That's <laughs> what my wife always tells me. Other than I can win a Jeopardy probably because I would have known that he was from I Galena, feel like Ohio. I'm I'm below Jeopardy Are like good, me? right? Like I know a lot of dumb stuff, but I don't Jeez. feel like it would translate to Jeopardy good though. My problem with being on Jeopardy is is that I am terrible at those um, at those categories like literature and you would think with a guy who has as many books as me I'd be better at that. <laughs> I am not. I'm right. terrible at literature. Yeah, just old school lit. Like you have to go to college yep. with a English degree or something. Alright, we're about there, baby. Alright. So let's take a look at the holes here because I haven't seen them yet. 40, 70, 170, oh, no. oh no, they line up. You see this? Oh, uh, it's the same nine. Twice. Nope, we're not doing that. Boo! We're not doing that. We go back. All right, we're going to try the other one then. Because I do not like playing golf courses where it's the same nine twice. And I get why people do that, but stop doing that. But most nine holes are only... Well, Tecmoed has two of them there. What about that other one? That that's you the real, that's the actual golf course. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, so I've got other ones. Uh, so let's do the short course at Mountain Shadows. Mountain Shad. Short course at Mountain Shadows. Another Tech Bud creation, by the way. Paradise Valley. I already downloaded this one. Oh, round history. I don't know why it says even here. Nobody's played around. That's weird. On my birthday. Definitely didn't do that. Must be the day I downloaded it. I wanted Weird. to see a scorecard here, but I guess. I right. didn't play this because 715 was my birthday. 
Why would have you and been that, and here? And that was for your also when we were we came here after the beer picnic. Did right, we, but why wouldn't there be a name here though? Yeah, that I don't know. Like, wouldn't there be a name? Probably next to this record that says of course name date, but it doesn't show. Like, go into the thing. Oh my God. But, 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 but we didn't play any old. <laughs> I can't explain that. No. Maybe we started around and we never played uh, it. Could be. Or maybe you loaded it so we could look at it or something and we never ended up Maybe. Finishing. I mean, at least from the holes perspective here, this looks legit. Yep, those are all. All right, we're giving it a try. Heck, we're, we're ship it. Ship it. Ship it. All right, so we're no longer on the same team. You are now my enemy, sir. Oh. Uh, all right, so 2300, sure. Five foot auto gimmies. Can I go up over 10? 11 stimp? Our normal? Yeah, I like 11. Normal. At this uh, point, I'd be in favor of playing 12s just so it doesn't screw me up for next week. All right. Break line, no. I like all this. Resume previous. So we did start this thing at some point, which ah. is why it came to even. Okay. But we never actually finished it. All right. Um, all right. Let's do it. Here we go. Oh, oh crap. got to change this scramble to. Set to scramble. Stroke. There we go. Fair enough. All right, game on, buddy. All right. Let's see who comes out on top. Excuse well, me. the whiskey, the whiskey will will do me. Uh huh. More whiskey. All right, so a disappointment about that nine. So I'll take that off my list if I didn't already. And the short course at Mountain Shadows comes off my list. So Bill, on my list of courses to check out for full 18 hole rounds when we get back in the sim for real. And by the way, yeah. for anybody watching. You guys know, we play, usually those rounds happen around Friday at noon mm -hmm. um, when the weather gets a little crappier here in North Dakota. But that being said, Sea Island, two courses down at Sea Island. I'm told Muirfield Village is on here. I'm told it's amazing. Okay. Um, um, LA, LA Country Club, where they had the US Open. I'm told that that course is pretty good. Um, Marion, which Tech Bud took on himself, and I'm told that is a darling now. Um, the golf course, uh, the golf club of Ohio, which is a Pete Dye gem, I guess. Pete Dye being a diabolical bastard. Yeah, he is. Um, yeah. And then there's a golf course called the Golf Club at Black Rock in Idaho that I've heard is, uh, is pretty amazing. All right, so this looks pretty neat. I don't know if this is a real course. I think it is, but if it is, I'm going to assume that we're looking That's at that big, big mountain in, in the back. Phoenix, right? Yeah. That big one. Uh, yeah, what, it's, what's it's it said this one's what Paradise Valley, which is a suburb, I think. Yeah. So, well, you're up first, boss. All right, let's go get him. Hey, nobody's here. There's just bark. There's just pounding going on. All right, so 111. I didn't look at the C range here, so we're going to find out, I guess. All right, I'm on my own now. I don't have Bill to make putts and save my butt. So this is gonna be a this is gonna be a thing. Yep. All right. Let's but I'm job. not gonna have you to save me on those chips. And this shots. one will not go on the board because if it's a par three course, we have banished all the par three yep. courses from the board. Yeah, so that's fair. Uh, for those of you who don't know who might be watching for the first time, we have a chalkboard up here of the best rounds we played solo. It takes a plus four to make your way onto the round board. Anything less than that is no good. All right, here we go. Let's do a job. Big pole. Be enough. Be enough. Oh, geez, it's enough, all right. I'm long. Oh, I'm long and in the rough. Gotta love that sea level. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I don't know. I didn't look at the sea level to see where we were at. I mean, I mean, uh, it's pretty. The calm desert air, but. Well, yeah, I think, actually, no, I think you're, I think that's what it is. I think Phoenix We're gonna is be a, a little higher, higher I think. Yeah. So I just think it carries a little more. I don't know if I'd say that or not. I best. Well, I shouldn't say that. Look at that. I carried that thing 110. This hole is 110, so that means my carry was about right, but I'm a little long. All right. Thanks. I don't think it matters a ton, I guess. Is Thanks what for I'm going at. first, boss. Back up. Yeah, I carried it 110, it went 115. All right. Ooh. You're going to like that, I think. Ooh, Bill with the early advantage. All right. I got lucky there. This is all I got to do now is try to try to beat. I can't make put it on the board. So of course I'm going to try to play under par. It's a par three, <laughs> right? par three course. I'm going to try to play very under par. But um, obviously I got to try to whoop on Bill here. Okay, so what do we got? We got a nine yard way downhill. Okay, just a little nine yard flip here. Not trying to do anything too crazy. And I hit that 
too soft and it didn't register. Okay. Let's put this a little bit more in the center then. Got to hit a little harder, I guess. Otherwise, I don't want to hit this hard though. This looks like I need to hit it very soft. Oh, that looks really nice, dude. Yeah. Just well, a that's a par. You got to make a putt to take the lead. Yep. Boy, yeah, you touched that thing just a little bit more. And that yeah, that first one, I just hit it a little too soft and the computer just didn't even register it to me. So what do you think of that Australian one? That little DT reason one? Yeah, yeah. I liked it. Okay, well, that's good to know. Should we stay desserty or do we get weird? Uh, I can do weird. I can, I can do weird. Well, I don't actually have a lot of weird out here. <laughs> I offered you something I don't really have. 19 feet. Oh my God, get in the lot. Oh, it didn't even oh, get Oh, he's got a putt again, folks. Frickin' 11. Gold jacket's mine, shooter's gonna choke. 11 stimp got me. Ooh, yeah. So this is one of the, earlier in the stream, I referred to a desert island scotch, something that I would drink maybe in my top three. Well, that is what we're gonna try next because it is still one of my all time favorites. All right, automatic. Oy. Just had a stress over it a little bit. A little bit, yeah. Boy, right. that, that was unfortunate. Okay, so 160 next, Bill. All right. I like a good par three course though. You know, Why? Because it just goes so much quicker. Yeah. What we should have done. What should have we have done? Should have went through and mapped my bag out for the. I haven't even done course. mine yet. Yeah, I know. It would have been a good time to get but that But yeah, done. we should. And do then do it for the par threes here. <laughs> hey, Tittle, if you're still listening, have you actually mapped your uh, bag out yet in GS Pro? I'm just curious if you have. But yeah, I would, I, I, I need to get that done one of these days. That sounded good. Yeah, it felt good too. <laughs> Looks good as well. Everything is good. Stop! Oh, I gotta have to put it though, but I'll have a good shot at birdie. Yeah, good, good, good. Yeah, that was good. Oh, still healing the crap out of it good though. Strike. Thank you, sir. So yeah, I still have quite a lot of courses to check out, which is great. No, that's bad. Oh, geez. Yeah. Oh, the development. Oh. Oh, no, I got you. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, that's bad. All right, well, don't do that again. Yeah, that's going to cause some stroke problems. <sighs> and you big chicken shit pull. Oh, my God. How did that get there? It's gonna dive. Thirty feet of hell. So that's interesting. What's that? Oof. That's crazy about the sky track there. That's interesting. I that sounds like a real honking problem to me. Boy, I hope that they can fix that then. Um, yeah, I haven't done it in here yet. Uh, I mean, I don't really, I don't really expound the virtue of mapping my bag that much. But that being said, now that the statistics are so much nicer, my hope is by doing it. You know, things are going to be really pretty awesome. But, but yeah, I mean, obviously, I wouldn't want a world whereby, like, you know, it would change the way in which I'm going to play things. Like, that would really suck. So, hopefully, it won't be that way. Um, but I have the Unicor IXO is, is the launch monitor I'm currently rocking. Just tap it in. Damn it. Just tap it in. All right. Brandon takes a three shot lead on the second, but it's early. All right, so we got one, six, nine. Ooh, into a tucked in little position there. 
Yeah, that stinks for me. Yeah, that puts you in a little bit of a hole. Now I got a lot of holes to get out of it. So far, I do like this golf course in the sense that it's different. I mean, because for me, day night chip and putt is just, it's just not, it's great for what it is great for, but that's about it, right? Yep. And I like the I like the Georgia Threes course, but uh, I, I like a little bit of 18-hole variety, though, too. Oh, big honking pole. Sit. 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 Ugh. Whoa, that was a big, ugly miss. Big, ugly miss. Yeah, well, it ain't an OB miss, which... No, 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 I, I didn't make that mistake. Who would do that? <laughs> um, but uh, <laughs> but uh, uh, but no, it was not a good strike. Uh, I just kind of came over the top of it. You guys are my favorites. You guys are my favorites. God damn. Oh, what are you doing there? Oh, coming in, coming in, coming in hot. Yeah, that's too much, uh, too much turf monster there. Oh yeah. Yeah, I've got just, I've got that OB swing and clickety clacky going on, so. Yeah, for me, I think the weird thing about GS Pro, like I like a lot of the things that they've added, no doubt. Like, you know, one of the best things about getting updates of the software is that you're always getting, hey, <laughs> you're always getting stuff that's interesting. Hey, get out of there. Now. Hey, get out of there. Get out of there. You go fast. Um, but yeah, occasionally they add something where you're like, whoa, whoa, why? Look at this. Oh, you can make that. Uh, I should be able to. Hey, if I'm that close, I'm gonna be pretty happy. I'm short-sighted over here. Okay, so what do we got? It's gonna definitely wanna come that way. I'm gonna have to play a little over here. Oh, what do I, oh geez, not really. I got a 6.3 degree left lie. Okay, so I'm actually gonna aim down here. Hey, 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 get out of here. There you go. You guys having fun. All right. 22. A little uphill. Yep, and it checked way there just like I thought. Oh, crap. I got to pop. All right. It was a pretty decent shot, but it that 6.3 degrees did a number on me. All right, you first, William. Why does it look so close? Yeah, the camera view didn't do you any solids. I assume it has something to do with what's behind it. I'm on the green. <laughs> I know. Six feet, touchdown. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my, what happened there? Uh, did it just break that much or did you, oh, you pushed it a little I, bit, I that ain't much. But, but I should have pushed it right into the heart and it just like, Huh, just hijacked me. That scares me a little. Yeah, I don't I don't know. Thought I hit a good putt there, but it clearly was just a touch too much. I'm gonna play a little bit more break then than I think I need to. I don't know if I need to, but I'm going to try. You almost did the same thing, but you just I had the right it. speed. Yeah, I got it, all right. 185, we're getting long. All right, I get to try this. So, I love this one. This is so good to me. Oh, God. Even when I smell it, I know it's going to be so good. <laughs> mm. Yeah, the hardest part about living here is knowing this shit is out here all the time and not coming out here and just drinking it while you guys aren't around. You're going to be in Vegas next month. Oh, yes, that's right. I was thinking about reaching out to Corey and seeing if he had anybody, uh, any contacts I might... Try to it's been a while since he's been there. You know yeah. where you'd like to get on, but I don't know anybody, so I can't help you. Come here, uh, bud. Would be uh, would be Summerlin. I'd love to get on Summerlin. Yeah. TPC Sutherland. Summer Summerlin. Yeah. I'm sorry, not Summer. Summerlin. Summerlin. Yes. Um, I'd love to get on there, but of course it's private, like yeah, like Twin Cities is. So it's a tough ask. All right. Come on, man. Be right. Oh, geez, way short. Big bounce. Ah, it's not gonna quite be enough. I, 
a little toey on the strike, just a little. Cost me. Yeah. But I'm all right with it. But I'm all right with it. Rip. Yeah, I'd love to play there. I'd like to play at the wind course. I know everybody talks about it. Um, uh, Shadow Creek, is Shadow Creek on the board right now? I think it might even be on the board. Summerlin's on the board. I see it right there. I was plus three. The wind golf club's on the board too. I was plus two there. I didn't remember if Shadow Creek was on the board or not. Back. Shadow Creek is not on the board. I can tell you right now, it's hard as shit. It's one of those courses. Piper, fuck. Piper, no, Piper, come here. Good dog. Good dog, Piper. Hey, Bezo. He's like, yeah, fuck that guy. <laughs> um, yeah, that Shadow Creek course is, is so hard. It's one of those courses that's very short. Yeah. But it's very short because it's ungodly tight. Like, it is just <laughs> small fairways, trees and hills, and just makes it brutal. Is Peyote Mountain just north of the Vegas, or am I thinking of Phoenix? I do not know. Mm, that's one on my list I'd love to play, but I can't remember where it is. Oh, God, fuck Bill. Oh, right be down a the gully. It's a Mickey Mouse screen. Yeah, because look at that, it's coming back, yeah. like, down the half pipe. Fuck. All of the sixth hole of Meadows. Jeez, I am, yeah. I don't have you to save me, so. <laughs> right? All, all of my better demons are coming out here. Just gotta slow down, stop being so stupid. Okay, this is the wrong club. Swing it. This is the wrong club. No, I refuse. Nope, that's also the wrong club. Yeah, screw it, we're going with this one. We got this. All right. Eh, little putt. All right, work has been appeased. a buddy. Didn't hit it hard enough. I it bounced in the rough. This was the wrong club. I went with it anyways because I thought it was going to be fine, and it was not fine. Oh my God! But at least I don't have to putt that. Ooh, <laughs> ooh, yeah. ooh! Yep. That's a fatality. Yep. Yeah, this is just trying to hold ooh. it in the circle. There you go. Twenty-five feet, a foot of bill. <laughs> Pushed it. And you hammered it. Yep, I thought so too. Hammer. Oh, you hit it a little hard. I mean, I get why. I mean, obviously, it's way the hell uphill. So, what are you going to do? Not hit it? Still, Still you. Me. Oh, God. Still you. Yeah, this is probably the least fun thing to watch. <laughs> 12 feet. Hmm. I'll give you a break. What the hell? I pulled the <laughs> shit out of it, but it was like, I don't know. I'm like all discombobulated with the uh, 11 stimps. Like that's a level. Like that should have been a just fine putt. Yeah, I mean, they're not that big of a difference, right? You gotta tell yourself that. Like it's really close to the same. So don't think like, oh my God, I gotta start hammering it. You don't. Ooh, my bad. And you what made it. In. Oh, I just swung oh, okay. it back. As long as it wasn't uh, something breaking. <laughs> no, it's just my club, maybe. I'm used to everything breaking. My golf, my house is falling apart. Um, the nice thing is I'm not bitter about it. <laughs> it's because you got whiskey to keep you warm at night. <sighs> it does keep me very warm at night. Which I'm a fan. Double bogey for Bill. All right. Yeah. This back to back. Away. It's two doubles in there. That's All right, we get a little 90 now. This is your chance. One nice thing about playing a par three course is you have 18 hole and one opportunities, <laughs> right? Like it doesn't matter how good or bad. Yeah, you but play. you're the only one with hole and ones up there. I've got two hole and ones on the board. We also put hole and ones on the board, of which there are two. I think we should negate. Nerby was them, also, sister. by the way. I will just tell you right now. Nerby was in the sim last weekend on what day? It was a Friday night. And when he looked up there, he was bragging that he has three bottles on the bar. Ah. I'm like, okay, just so you're aware. So, like, that's what we're going for? Apparently that, hey, I'm endorsing it. <laughs> All right, here we go. 
90 yards. Did I guess right? I did. Spin back now. Come on. There it is. Go. Ah, a little short. Yeah. You know why he's bragging that? Because he's he's probably got like a side credit card that he buys the bottles and then he hides them here so his wife doesn't know. <laughs> I wouldn't rule it out. <laughs> I'm on to you, Mike. I wouldn't rule it out. Do you guys need more water? Nah, you're probably good. Oh, I like clicky. This. I like this. I like that a lot. Nice shot. Nice shot. Yeah. Nice shot. Please round. I'm exposing your belly for Piper, and he can like abuse you. You like that? Ah, there you go. There you go. Hey, hey, you guys, be nice. <laughs> Just canning 30 footers like they were going out of style, and I can't buy a 10 footer today. Cold. Just gone cold. Oh boy. One bad spot right in the middle. Let's just go with that. Let's ship that. Woo! Okay, let's see. Nine feet, a little uphill, not much to it. Just a little nine footer. Got it. Good boy. All right. Oh, brutal. Okay, give me putts that aren't completely crazy ass, and all of a sudden Brandon looks alive. All right, 111. Oh, brother. 111, fairly flat, but boy, is that pin position absolute garbage town. Okay. You know what we're doing, Bill? We're nope. not playing hero ball. Come on. Hero ball is the best ball. Justin has my book, so we're going to see whenever he reads it. Like, if he finds it inspirational. I think he'll like it even more than I did, only due to the fact that he's into that Eastern philosophy stuff that really was the part of the book I really disliked. All right, so let's see. 111, I do not need all this club, Bill. I'm just gonna feather this a little bit. That was blasted way out to the right, huh? Pretty straight. That is a nice safe play though. And that is what I mean by not playing hero ball. Yeah. Um, so if, uh, I don't know, if, uh, Tittle, if you've ever played, uh, I think you said that you played the auto putt. I don't know if you ever played the par threes, but in the par threes, Bill, it's exactly this. It is, all you have to do is give yourself a putt on every hole. Yeah, I played the par threes a couple yeah, times. Yeah, you've done it with me a few times. Yep. It's just a matter of giving yourself opportunities. The absolute worst thing you can do in a par three event is just make yourself have to chip over and over and over again. Ooh, Bill. Ooh, Bill. Yeah, I got lucky there. Mm. It can bounce. Bill puts the pressure on Brandon to make it. Oh, and then I get a putt that's actually makeable. It like Come here, quasi kind of dies on my line. Oh, don't you? Like it's way the hell downhill though. That's okay. Yeah, that's a good putt. They're getting along much better today. I mean, yeah, my dog has still chased that your dog a few times, but uh, hi, Piper. Yeah. For the same dumb, jealous reason he always does. Yeah, yeah. it's okay. He's just a good boy. Yeah, he's a good boy. Golly, how much is that gonna want to break? Can't help you, boss. Just a little more than that, I think. It, like we're right in the middle of a crown swell. Yeah, so, I so just it's like everything it's funnels be as back much to as the I, middle. I just don't think it's gonna be as much as I'd like. You know what, we're gonna go with this. All right, I believe in you. I mean, you're already seven shots ahead of right, me. but this so. is eight inches down though, so this is a screamer of a putt. Okay. I didn't hit it hard enough. I had it right, I just didn't hit it hard enough. Yeah. No. I gave it a little too much respect. Good par. Not really. Well, sure, sure. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take 20, 23 footer. Yank. Bill with a chance to prove his quality and take one back on the field. Yeah, to uh, prove my metal. Yeah. Oh, and he does.
does that? Well, Birdie boom. for the bill. Bill takes the box. Ooh, now I get to now I get to lead off tee shot, which isn't my favorite. <laughs> All right, 74. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You're still my favorite. Mm. Yeah. All right, 74. Water in play. This is yeah. a fun little uh, little hole, huh? Yeah. Don't uh, don't be short sure. course at Mountain Shadows. When are we going to Mountain Shadows, right? Yeah, in Arizona. Uh, I guess. Yeah, I haven't I haven't been to Arizona now in well a couple of years. <laughs> oh, I towed it. Yeah, Tittle. So you've never entered a par the par threes. They're not bad. Um, like the auto putt, it goes quick. Uh, that's the good bit because it's exactly like what you're seeing on the screen with us now. Like you're. <laughs> The only difference between that and the auto putt is instead of switching from driver to whatever you're approaching, you're switching from your approach club to your putter, yeah. right? Otherwise, it's the same thing. It's like you're hitting two clubs. Yeah, it's just like playing a normal course if you uh, were able to hit 300-yard bombs dead down the middle of the fairway. Yeah, because a lot of the par, because right, because a lot of these par three events don't happen on par three courses because there just aren't enough of them. So instead, there's a par three tee where they basically just lay you out in the fairway like Bill's describing. Right. He's 100% right there. All right, got to fly this past the hole, Bill. It's the only way that it's going to work. Oh, Hopefully yeah. that was enough to get past the hole. Pretty straight strike. It is, and here comes the backspin. Oh, not enough backspin. All right, I can make that. Good though. strike. Thank you. Good strike. Yeah, where was this Vader wedge precision when we needed it during the damn scramble? Just wasn't there. Yeah. But yeah, no, so they go fast. But again, they have the same problem as Auto Putt does that you have a guys, and by the way, I don't begrudge them. I get it. I love people who have a lot more time to play sim golf. It's amazing. I wish I had more time to play sim golf. Come on, back. Oh, oh Bill opens the door for me. Oh, I hit um, a perfect putt, too. I just, it didn't do what I thought it was. But you have do. guys that, you know, it's the same kind of guys that are ahead on this Auto Putt and the par three. I mean, these guys play in everything, and they're competitive in all of it, which is great, but it does make things a little bit more challenging for, like, me, just coming in and trying to get it done once a week. I always felt like I had a better shot in the par 3 one than I did the auto putt one, I think. And that's just because the auto putt one really puts a premium on being able to hit a wedge. Where in the, uh, where in the um, uh, par three one, you can still hammer a long putt here or there and feel like you got something back on the field. Right. One, seven, seven, a little downhill to a heart-shaped green. Okay, we can do that. We have that capability. We're on number eight already. Goes quick. Um, Tom has a car now. Oh he's, yeah? He's got his license and a vehicle. <laughs> I'm not very okay with the all too rapid passage of time. I think I'm a bit clear on that, but yeah. good grief. Yeah, someone with a birthday very, very soon. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> all right, 177. Boy, you were absolutely daggering it. Where were these like shots when we were? I'm a little short, but yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I'm with you. Like, why wasn't this what I was doing with it? Like, that's a seven iron. Yeah. To what, 10 feet? Yeah. Like, where the hell was this when we were scrambling? <laughs> Apparently, I needed a little bit more whiskey in my system. Yeah. The right kind of whiskey, I think. Hmm. Oh, we definitely have the right kind of whiskey here. Yeah. No doubt. In fact, I would argue we probably have the top three, like, well crafted bars in the city in this joint. That's Damn not it. bragging, that's reality. Damn it. Get up. Nope. Just. Big pull, big pull trying to get yards. Yep, and that's what hero ball is all about. Yeah. Trying not to overswing. Tell yourself you don't need all that club. Come here, come here, come here, come here. I'll pick up both of you. Yeah, oh man, I got two doggos. Oh, where are you going? Holy downhill. Well, it'll be a nice straight back up the hill, but fudge. I like you guys. You guys are the ones I like. Still you there, William? Yeah.
But yeah, I'd really like to get into the uh, to the SGT Tour this year, the one that, again, is rated, assuming I can get through qualifying. I would like nothing more, Bill, than for us to get into that habit. But if I could change one thing, here's the thing I would change. Instead of it being two rounds a week, give me one tour that is only one round a week. Mm -hmm. That would change everything for me. Or two rounds, two weeks. Yeah, because... It is just, it's too much. Like, like again, it's not too much for me. I live here. I can make it happen if I want. But for the friends that come over, it is hard to ask somebody to come over and play 36 holes a week. It's just hard. And to be honest, playing 36 holes a week is hard. Um, right. I, or I should say, playing 36 holes in one sitting is hard. Right. Like, by the time I get to hole 30, my back kind of hates me a little bit. It's like, I don't want to do this anymore. Yeah. So... And, and asking friends to come over two days a week is a big ask. So I would love to have uh, one of the rounds where it's just one round a week. Because if that's the case, guys, that's what we would do on Fridays, right? And be like, all right, we're playing the we're playing the tour on Fridays. Hey. Good. All right. Another birdie Jeez, on the book. You're crushing the shit out of I me. know. I've suddenly woken up and started playing like I actually give a damn. I don't know why. Home field advantage. I don't know why. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, the iron started doing irony things. And the obviously, when I've got makeable putts, well, then that changes everything. I mean, I haven't had a single putt bill yet that I've uh, missed that I think has been more than a cup of brick, one direction or the other. So that yeah. makes life a lot easier. Yeah, yeah, you got a nine right, shot 91. advantage on me right now. Well, you back-to-back -back holes, but that one hole really got you. Yeah, double bogey. I've had two doubles, so and I mean, the that's one plus right four. After that, you, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. you'd have me by five if I just par those, but mm -hmm. even still, ugh. Oh, wrong club, wrong club. I just, just go. You gotta, you gotta play with the just, first one. Just gotta, right. just gotta, just gotta, just gotta hit it hard. That's yeah. another game we haven't played, by the way. So, so. You know what? I would love to hear the chat tell me about games we could play. I think one of the games we could play would be the, um, so Good Good, if you ever watch the Good Good channel on YouTube, they play this Sometimes. game where you get, it's a three club or four club challenge. So you pick your three or four clubs, but if you win a hole, you lose a club. Yeah. And you keep losing, and the first guy to run out of clubs wins. So at the end, right, you are left with one club. And, I mean, that's a disadvantage, but if you're that good, you're going to win because that's right. it, right? Yeah. That would be a lot of fun to play in here. All right, 91. And then I'll get to looking at that check because I see you had a question for me. All right, 91 yards. Yeah, you're just throwing. I know, man. What the hell? Got to put it again, but uh, I don't, I, out of nowhere. Look, well, you give me wedges, and that's the thing I was so pissed off about when we're playing the scramble, right? Because normally you give me anything inside <laughs> about 105, 110. Right. Yeah. I'm usually, that's my game, right? Yeah. And yeah, we played the scramble. I couldn't do it to save my life, and then all of a sudden out of nowhere, yeah, now it starts working. Oh, it's going to fade off. Okay, so that's a good, that's a good question. I, I believe the answer, Tittle, is no. Now, I, I need to qualify this answer. So I never, ever had GS Pro with my SkyTrack when I had it. When I had my SkyTrack, uh, we were still rocking uh, TGC 2019. And I did design two courses for TGC 2019 that are still out there. Um, then I got rid of the SkyTrack, went to Unicor, still did Unicor with TGC 2019. And it was only when I got to sim number two and rebuilt it from scratch. Oh, hammered. Yeah, and I felt like you played a lot of break. No. Yeah. It was only when I built the new sim. God, you um, so Still good. you built. Um, only, when I built <laughs> only when I built the new sim uh, did uh, I get GS Pro. I got lucky because what happened to me in my world was I went to another guy who had some Unicor IXOs like I had. And we were talking about it, and he's like, have you seen this GS Pro thing? I'm like, uh, no, I don't even know. I, I, I think I've heard of it, but I don't know really what you're talking about. And he was nice enough. Oh, damn. And he was nice enough to show it to me. He was like, oh, here it is. And after I looked at it, I'm not going to lie, I kind of fell in love. I'm like, this looks really nice. I mean, whether it was the gimme circle or just the quality of everything going on, I just thought it was really great. So, so then what happened was I decided... 
well, what the heck? Once I found out it was $250 a year, I think at that time, I'm like, what the heck, I'll buy it. So I bought it on Lark and we played it in here and rightfully so, right after that, that was it. Like it was game over. That was all we were ever gonna play. Yeah, because we didn't have as many courses to start out with. Not even like, close. It's so much better. You yep. are just a machine. I know right now. Where five was asshole. Five under on the front. So you know what time it is, guys. It's treats at the turn. Someone's on a diet, but treats on the turn. I'll let Bill break this one up and give it to you because he didn't get to give you guys one. Woo! You can break this in half and give my dog half. Oh boy. All right, you guys go be nice to Bill. Maybe he'll be nice to you. Okay. Hi, Bear. Okay. Sit. Sit. Good. How you doing on water, Bill? Boy. I could use one. Okay. I have an entire fresh boat of water, so don't feel bad about drinking the Sit last down. couple out of here. Can you go down? I Good just boy. haven't brought it out here yet. Piper, down. Piper, down. Down. Good boy. Good boys. Yes, you remember your P's and Q's. Thank you, sir. You are more than welcome. You are up. Yep, I'm just getting my treat at the turn. <laughs> oh yeah, I should rinse. I, that's why I asked about the water because I needed it for that purpose. Yeah. Gonna take care of Justin Danke. Shout out to Justin Danke, who left the bottle on the bar, which was awful nice of him. All right, 102. Oh man, that is my yardage, so Bill's not gonna be happy with me again. Yeah. Yeah, well, you're just. I just keep getting you're my yardage. You're on a different level than me right now. Okay, I'm gonna play for this because I see that that is all the way tucked in on the left. I don't want any part of that. If I can provide for it. Oh, and there I hit a bad one, Bill. A big fat pull. Oh, and I got away with it. Yeah, of course you did. Got away even, with it. I didn't even have to look the to see. The slope saved me. Yeah, I am cooking a little bit right now, Houston. Yeah, yeah just. Keep it up. It's good to see it. I don't mind getting my ass kicked. <laughs> well, that's the competitive way to be with golf, I've always found, right? Like, oh, there's a good shot. Nice strike. Um, I've always found this about golf. I always enjoy golf a lot more when I'm in a situation where I'm like, I hope you play even par. I'm just hoping I play one under. <laughs> All right, so you first for birdie. 14 feet, I've got 12 feet. Of course you do. It looked like I was even closer when I hit that, but. But yeah, in your case, Tittle, what I would advise is I would definitely try to do it without, like you're suggesting. I'd let it expire, give it a go. I never, ever owned that uh, improvement, game improvement thing that you're talking about. I never even paid for that back in the days of the TGC 2019 package. Uh, I just didn't find it worth it. I thought it was fine if you want to sit in SkyTrack and just try to look at their data. Oh, gosh. But I never wanted to, like for me, I always approach the sim thing as a, this is a game for fun and we're hoping we're gonna improve while we do it. I am never, and Bill will attest for this, like I never even sit out here myself and just think like, hey, if I pound a bucket of balls today every day, I'm gonna get a lot better. I don't have time for that, which is hilarious because I live here, but I, I just don't, so. I think our biggest use for this, like in the off season for, you know, living in a climate where it's six months on, six months off, yeah. Is that you're just, your muscles don't get tight and sore. Oh God, you're Well, and of course automatic. you know, Bill, that that is how I justified it. So right. what everybody on the stream doesn't know is I suffered a catastrophic back injury. I didn't realize it, but I suffered it when I was a senior in high school and it has gotten me more times than I care to count. Mm -hmm. Just the iPad before the, yeah, I tried to hook mine up to my iPad originally and I kind of quickly gave up on that uh, because, I mean, it worked. It definitely worked. I just remember it being kind of a, I don't know, a pain in my ass. So then I got myself a little tiny cheap gaming computer. Uh, Bill was actually pissed at me because he didn't want me to buy a shitty gaming computer. <laughs> uh, but that's fine. So I bought a shitty gaming computer. Then I got a gaming computer on, a, on an auction, on a business auction. And that is currently the one inside my house. The one I have now is ridiculous. Because uh, <laughs> yeah. I also did not build that one, but I bought it and it is a, it is a monster. He, he overpaid for oh, a, yes. a monster. I overpaid for the best of everything I could get my hands on at that moment. It's it's good. Can't I can't argue with how good it is. But. Yeah, no, it's crazy. Did I overpay though? Oh, absolutely. God, 
you've just been lasering your irons today. I know. Well, not today, just this round. Just this, this Because again, I didn't do this at all when we were playing in Scramble I Land. I know it. All of a sudden, out of nowhere now, everything's dead straight. I can't explain it. Yeah. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Did you guys get your treats and were they good? Yeah. Were they good, huh? That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Yeah. God, I keep towing everything. Like, I'm just flailing. I just feel like I'm flailing. No, all right, so I got to put up an hour drinking, don't I? I've been trying to be good about that, and I was good all day today, so I better continue. What the heck are we drinking right now? We we're drinking Keeper's Heart Irish Plus American Whiskey, which, again, was a donation from Danky, so thank you, Danky. Piper, come here. Good dog. Get in there, get in there. Oh, he gets it. Oh, nice. That'll work. That'll buddy. Something that goes right. Just barely. I, that was like the first like wedge I hit that actually felt. Well, this bill is actually the hardest putt I've seen all day. And <laughs> oh, that's, well, that's well, no, but I'm just you. saying. I'm just saying that's like that's like <laughs> kind of an indication as to why I'm so far under is because I've had all these really easy putts. Yeah. Uh, this one's actually a challenge. Um, so yeah, we like a challenge. Boy, it breaks a lot, then it breaks a little. All right, I think I'm gonna do this. 16 feet, just gotta lazy this thing in. Do not need to get this all the way there. Baby pull. Yeah, big, that big did pull. Me, huh? Oh my God, it was a huge pull. Wow, interesting. <sighs> it's a little crooked, yeah, I guess. Huh. Well, oh, look at that backstop. <laughs> that. This is Vader, oh my God. All right, so we were all commenting about how much backspin I had. I'm gonna take the Vader wedge because it's the right club. But that being said, I practically have to carry this Vader wedge to the top of that hill. Because yeah. it is gonna come down that mountain like I said something about its sister. <laughs> I'm gonna, <laughs> I want you to land on top, zip down the hill and then zip into the That'd water. That'd be perfect actually. <laughs> That'd be, well, okay, not the water. Maybe not portion, the water, but. but it yeah. would be perfect probably if I landed on the top of the hill, zip back and then caught the ridge. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just wondering. Okay, I'm doing risk. this for the memes. Yeah. Like, you what I enough do room. I don't think you'll roll off if you actually go that. Far. I'm doing this for the memes because, to be honest, like, I mean, would a sawed-off shot here be better? Maybe. It sounded a little toey, but 12k RPM. Yeah. yeah. The, I didn't get to the hill, but there's the overspin. <laughs> Just like you suggested. So, yep. yeah, I was going to do it no matter what. Again, like, if I really wanted to make that shot, it's probably a sawed off, like, three quarters, one wedge up and try to, you know what I mean? Yep. Try to drill it into that face. I still need that move. spotlight over in my bag. Either that or I got to get different colored wedges. I need to. Because I can't read my wedges back there. I really like the idea of doing that. I'm not going to lie. I just haven't, uh, just hasn't been a priority yet, but I like the idea of doing that. number though. Yeah, that was a good shot. All right, so let's totally. try this weird thing. Try the what, the whiskey? Not too weird. No, it's good. I mean, I like it. For me, it's a little weird though. And by weird, what I mean is, is that I love Irish whiskey um, because Irish whiskey always has a, this kind of a little flavor that I really enjoy. And mm -hmm. I like um, American whiskey because it's just all over the joint. Mixing the both together seems really counterproductive to me. Yeah. But, uh, but I mean, it tastes good. You know? Mm-hmm. Oh, brother. Okay, we're gonna stay right at here. I believe in you. A little hard. Settle. Oh, oh, not oh. not too hard though. Not too hard okay. though. All right, that's fine. That's a par. Did you push that a little bit? Just a tiny bit. Just a just... tiny bit. Yeah. And I mean, I had a hard time figuring out what I wanted to do with that ridge because obviously I had a huge giant ass ridge in front of me. But of course, in my brain, I'm thinking, okay, well, I'm going to skip all this. So. Yeah. 
where do I draw the line? You know, the nice thing about going extra innings though, Bill, is that it's great for the channel. <laughs> Get all kinds of content for the channel. Because what I like to do in this case, Bill takes the box, nice putt. Woo, nice finally I made one. So what I like to do in this case is I like to chop it up and then on YouTube, YouTube will get the scramble action on Wednesday and then I like to chop it up so that maybe on Friday, this will randomly appear. Right. So it's just, it's kind of nice to have content showing up all the time. Yeah. Well, yeah, considering it's gone months without any. Yeah, and I feel bad about that, but there's no real good way to do it. Oh, look at this, you're getting cheered on a little bit. Yeah. Here we go, come back. <laughs> Here we go, come back. 11 strokes in a few holes though, that would be. <laughs> You're probably gonna need a little help from me. Then. Yeah, you'd have to. You'd have to bail me out there yeah. pretty good. Well, still put up some birdies though. Make it interesting. There you go. That was a good strike. Yeah, I'm just towing them all. Yeah, but right there's just like left toe. Yeah, make me earn it. Don't, don't let me walk away with it. Yeah. You could definitely get back to par. I mean, I'll try. That's, I mean, you gotta you gotta work hard, at it, but it's doable. I mean, yeah. I'm always trying. Oh I yeah, know, I know that. <laughs> yeah, you know, you're not one arm putting in here. I got, I got. See what I did there? I got chat in my corner at least. <laughs> see what I did there? Like you're not one arm putting. Yep. I, I look back on one of those streams, and sure enough, one arm putting. And then I remember I say something along the lines of, "This is a season one callback," but I said something along the lines of like. Guys, I'm not holding your keys. You're not held hostage. You can leave anytime you want. Like, <laughs> instead of sitting here in one arm putting like an asshole the whole time. All right, Bizu, I'll let you out in a sec, bud. There you go. God, you're just throwing daggers. All of a sudden, I can't explain it, but all of a sudden, man, like everything started to feel good. Yep. Hitting those spots with grooves on both sides yep. every time. Yeah. All right, BZ, you wanna go outside? You can go outside, come on. Piper, you can come with too if you want. I just gotta stand guard and make sure there's nobody in the backyard. Where is everybody? They're yeah. all up on the thing. Yeah, he listens. Just bark at him if he runs. How's it going, man? Hey, hey. Come on, go inside then. Go inside then. If you don't want to go to the bathroom. somebody Let's out go. there. Whoa, hey Piper. Go ahead. Bezo, go. All right, we gotta make a putt, buddy. Go. Where are you going? Bezo. Back to backs. Nerdle. Come on. A little bit more. Okay. 16 feet. Go. Touchdown. It just now occurred to me that I bet everybody on stream can hear me talking to the guy who's working on my house. Because these things have an unbelievable well, range. Well, as long as you didn't uh, give you give the, the house worker your social security number, yeah. I think you'll be okay. Yeah. My private line is 701. No, uh... Wait, you're a 701? I am, uh... I don't even remember, if I'm being honest. I think I'm 701. I'm pretty sure you are. Is it weird that I don't remember my own phone number? Is that a thing? Is that odd? I was a 218, I think, originally. No, I was a, I don't remember. It doesn't matter. All right, 14 feet. I've got a pretty straight putt here. Come on, come on. That a boy. Yeah. That yeah. makes it easier when you I had it a putt. I added a touch of break in the last minute to mine and I missed it by that touch ah. break. Oh! Bunker in the middle of the green. Oh, that's brutal. <laughs> this golf course. All right, so this allows me to tell the story of the only time in our lives that me and Bill played on a golf course with a bunker in the middle of the green. Shout out to Golf Club of California, which is where we were at. Uh, about what, an hour and a half north of San Diego? Yeah, it was, so a, it was just, a bit south, of a just south of LA. Yeah, it was a But um, yeah, we were there. And shout out to the drink cart girl who made us what was maybe the best Bloody, Bloody Mary I've ever had in my life. It was delicious. Yep. She said it was the best in California. I called her a liar. She was right. She's right. She's the she best, best in the country so far. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, it was that good. I've had a couple of good ones in my day, but. But that bunker in the middle of the green was freaking absurd. <laughs> and I ended up on the other side of it. So I chipped yeah. and then made bogey and then decided I was going to try to putt through it, which is what the pamphlet told us we could do. Yep. Yeah, thank God I didn't do that. Yep. That was a non-starter. Yep. All right, anything but the bunker is good here. Just, ah, uh, anything but the bunker, please. Anything but the bunker, please. I'm in the bunker. 
Yeah. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Well, if that is a really hard pin to get at. Like, I hit that actually really well. Yeah. I just, I did not want to aim way on that left sliver knowing full well I've been pulling it. Yep. So I basically aimed at the bunker bill and then I hit it dead straight. So, if I'd have known it was going to hit it straight, <laughs> I'd have aimed straight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's not wrong. He is not wrong. That is an unbelievably large green complex to put the pin all the way over there. Oh. And, and so that is why I aimed at the bunker, because I did not want to be where Bill is now. So I aimed at the bunker, and then I had drilled it into the bunker like a putz. There you go, you putz. Uh-huh. Yeah, well. Can't read my clubs over here. You guys like a little bit more water? I can give you a little bit more water. Here we go. Oh, 17. There you go, buddies. Yeah. 17 and short-sided. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. Yeah, that's a toughie. Yeah. Oh, goody, now it's me. Yeah, I knew when I hit it, it wasn't enough. So I, I just try not to out of the bunker but while I was, I'm in the middle I of the green. I was stuck because it's like I'm coming right at the bunker. So it's like if I hit it too hard, I'm in the bunker. Mm -hmm. If I hit it too short, well, I'm chipping again. But all right, is it is it too greedy? Piper, move out of here. Is it too greedy to ask for two sand chip ins in one day? Yes. Okay. Well, too bad. I'm going to ask anyways. Miss oh. Reed, you bitch. Hit a little too soft, maybe? I don't know. I wasn't paying attention to the ding. 888 two, two, two. Ah, that explains uh, it. I need to clean this club and all this golf schmutz off of it, maybe a little bit. All right. You pulled that one a little bit, too, boss. Oh, that was bad. Look at that kickback, though. Yeah, I barely got out, and then it slowed down because I hit that rough, because that's how bad I hit that shot. So that yep. wasn't very good, but whatever. I can make a par putt, hopefully. Eck. Hey. Hey. All right, so nice checking in, Tittle. It was great seeing you. Hopefully you'll check in another time. I saw that you uh, followed us here on Twitch. So, But yeah, look for us on here. It's Bill Burgess, all one word, and I'm B. Medenwald, which is, you know, darn Germans. But yeah, come find us on here. And hey, you know what? If you're ever looking for a game, uh, hey, just find us on Discord because uh, me and Bill hang out in there every once in a while. If you're looking for a game, it'd be fun to yep. meet up and hit a few. So... But otherwise, have a good eat, have a good uh, day, and thanks for checking in, man. It was fun. Yep. Thanks for uh, cheering us on. That was fun. Hey, Piper, stop it! <laughs> Stealing golf balls. You a thief? You a thief in the night? Oh, what the? Were you in the? Yeah, I Texas wedged it, but I didn't play. Ah, the, I didn't play. Still the, you uh, there, bro, Heem? Oh my God, for double, yeah. Just has been my story of my day. Want to hand this bitch? <laughs> After I made the comment. There you go. I'm, I'm, I'm serious. There's one in there where it's like, it's pretty bad. Yeah. And eventually I call it out, but it's like, you know, because I'm not very confrontational, but. <laughs> yeah, passive aggressive is your nature. Yeah, I'm a little <laughs> bit more of that. That's a little bit more my style. Yeah, dude. Lots yeah. of par save from the idiot Just bunker in the middle of the green. Seven over. All right, one, seven, two, huh? A couple of these long ones and these pins are brutal. By the way, I like the green. I mean, we are, I like the golf course. We could quibble about that last hole, and I'm sure you know how I feel about a bunker in the middle of a green. But <laughs> overall, though, I mean, like this would be maybe my favorite par three course we have access to, though. So um, you? Fant has a short one that isn't bad, but it's a lot of like, I don't think they have a hole over 145. Yeah. And that's fine if that's what you're in the mood for, but I mean, it's kind of nice to have an occasional long hole. Piper, come on. You can stay back here, buddy. And I mean, I, I still like Georgia threes, but who doesn't? Right. Oh, right. Clicky. Oh, big right. Your first miss all Get over the freaking bump. day. Yeah, and I'm you're still going to have a putting. And you're going to be putting. I'm just going to have an ungodly long putt. Yeah. Come back. Come back. Come back. You're, you're still, still moving, too. You're not good about too. being on the green, are you? 
But you guys are getting along a lot better today, so I appreciate that. I appreciate that quite a bit. Oh, geez, I was still rolling. Oh, yeah. God, what does this green look like then? Don't care. <laughs> God damn it. Go hard. No way. I'd be lucky if I, yeah, Ooh. I don't even close. Oh, Josh, I'm fatty, just, fat, fat, yeah, fat. Yeah, just fat and Bill toe. Bill gained four, four pounds on that swing. Fat toe. Uh, so the one good thing is me and Bill are both seven. Seven? Seven what? Well, I don't know, you're over, I guess. <laughs> ah, I see. Oh, yeah. the pipe just come here. Just rub Good. salt in that wound. <laughs> For the memes. Yeah, thanks, boss. <laughs> oh, pull. Pull, daddy. Well, and I mean, again, you know it when you do it, which is in and of itself the big, oh, Jesus H. Christ, this is going to be brutal. Um, <laughs> up and over the mountain, baby. This is yeah, fun. So this is seven inches uphill, 69. Dab. Yeah. Although that looked like so a Nazi salute, which wasn't very good of me. Um, but anyway, 69. I don't think oh my that. God, is that going to bank? Gutsiest call I ever saw, Mav. Come on, make this here. and then clip it. You'll be the king of YouTube shorts. Yeah, this is true. Be better than that time that guy drank awful whiskey or that other guy uh, hit driver on a par three. Yeah, that driver that hits, the guy that hits driver on par three, that guy's a legend. Okay, you know what? Now that I look at this again, this is stupid. I am not going to play that much. It's just not that much. All right, go burr. Okay, 69. Right, go burr. Yeah. Okay. You want some snuggles too? Hammer tail! Needed to, it was 69. Hey. Yardage was perfect. And oh look at that. 0 0.1, baby. That's pretty good for a hammer smash. That was a good strike. Of yep. course, I was aimed wrong, but you know, hey, I talked myself out of all that break, is what happened. Yep, that's all right. Although I needed to talk myself out of some because I didn't miss it by that much. I was, I definitely initially overreacted to the break. Overreaction Wednesday. I got a friend request from our follower, which I'm accepting right now. Awesome. So hopefully he catches us on YouTube sometime. And by the way, for all you people who are catching this on YouTube later, um, besides liking and subscribing, we appreciate that. And hey, even if you can't catch the live stream sometimes, that's just the way it goes. But at the same time, absolutely, look us up on Discord sometime. We're game for a game, especially when we're all together. And being I live here, of course, I, uh, you know, I'm game for a game sometimes no matter what. My record of playing people on the internet is pretty mixed. Sometimes I have whooped ass, and sometimes I have been the guy who's gotten his ass whooped. So it's happened a little both ways. So what I'm hearing is that Brandon gets his ass pounded from the internet. No, what, that, you're, what you're hearing is... kind of what you said. It's kind of what you Yeah, it's like, it's like that pound me in the ass prison <laughs> from uh, Office Space. <laughs> The best part of that movie, damn it, I gotta do this. The best part of that movie is towards the real end there where it's like that guy's going away and he thinks he's about to get caught, right, and go to jail. And his neighbor, who's a shithead the whole movie, right, is like, Peter. And he has this like, I'm gonna say something very philosophical, right? And the guy turns around, yeah? Watch your cornhole, bud. He's like, <laughs> thanks, Lawrence. <laughs> like, 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 you think this is the moment where you're gonna hear something really <laughs> insightful and nope, it's watch your cornhole, bud. All right. What is that? What? What movie is that? Office Space. Right at the end of Office Space. Oh. Oh, it's got to go a little, I think. Laser. Got to go a little, though. Got to go a little. It went a little. Yeah, All right. Shit Instabird. Die. I know. What the fuck is my deal, dude? Dude, where was this? I'm eight. I'm like eight under. Yeah, and I'm 16 hole. I've literally birdied every other hole. Where the hell was all these wedge strikes when we couldn't get up and down with a wedge to save our lives? <laughs> Can't explain it. So for those of you who are watching us, oh, that was an all right one though. Eh, baby pull. Baby pull, but the weight baby, was good. Yeah. Well, maybe the weight was, well, yeah, that's the pull. That was the weight. That's the pull, yeah. Pull weight. Uh, that being said, for those of you who are watching this on YouTube, um, this will be clipped separately from the video. So if you want to watch us, watch Brandon and Bill struggle hitting wedges, just go to the video right before this. The struggle was was quite real. Yeah. Oh, 60, 60. No, Piper. And uphill. Piper dog. Piper dog. Hey, you. Piper dog. 
Oh, look at that. That's actually pretty good. I'm gonna take that. <laughs> Baby pole, but take par from there. Oh, good par though. Whoa, well, now we're both eight. 70 foot par, I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, we want to keep, keep up the, uh, the we, were, we both got eight. You think, I could, you think I could Photoshop that? Just take the pluses and minuses off? No? All right, fine. All right, one, seven, three. Two holes left. And then, unfortunately, I got to return to reality. Wow. Even though I'd much rather just sit here and drink whiskey for the next two hours. Or at least, like, the next, like, half hour, 40 minutes. Oh, really? Is there some half hour, 40 minute threshold that I'm unaware of? Yeah. Really? Yeah. What is that? Just the, I can drive straight home then, I don't have to do any whatever? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I might have a plan for that, actually. All right. All right, 173. Oh, another good strike. <laughs> I oh, pulled it, though. I just lasered another one. Oh, I pulled hammer. it, though, yeah, which is why, I, yeah. Hammer pull. I just knew I, yeah, I just knew I struck it well. Look at you. I know, right? What's my deal, yo? <laughs> Piper dog, weasel hound. <laughs> Be enough. Nah. Get down. It wasn't too, it was better. Like I felt better about it, but it didn't. Yeah, and I mean, strike wise, I could see a little bit of the grooves on the inside. So yeah, I stood there. a little bit closer to it. So trying to take some of that out of there. Yep. Get up there, yes, I'll take it. The way my day's been going, not having to putt is a good thing. <laughs> it ain't wrong. <laughs> All right, so I actually got a... So this is another sign of why I'm playing so well is because this is maybe the second or third time I've chipped this whole round. And again, if you're playing par threes, that's exactly what you need to do, Just right? hit, yeah, just if you're... If you have to have a shot at a putt every time, even if it's not a good shot. Yep. Yeah, and you've had a lot of good looks at them. I've had a lot of very good looks, yeah. Like, it's Special. worked out. Oh, I drank my water so fast, Bill. Come here. Come Still here. a thing that happens. Why, why, when I pick you up, do you bark? Why, why is that? Shush. What? Oh, I didn't get to stay up. Shush. Oh, that is bad. I have the high ground. Face you. Oh, I missed in the one place I couldn't miss oh, there, Bill. Oh, no. I barely missed, but it ain't going to matter because it's going to roll all the way down there. That's a big hill. What's he doing? <laughs> Hey, be so. Hey, you stop it. It's okay if Piper comes up there. It's fine. Yeah. Piper's a little jumpy. He's like. All right, so nine inches uphill, 15 feet. <laughs> yeah, he's barking. You're barking now. Are you finding your voice here? Oh, hush. Hey, you hush. I don't know if I've ever heard a, bite, a Piper bark. I know. Hush. Nope. my first bogey that was a bad i mean that chip wasn't bad it's just it was bad for the topography i had did i bogey that why do you, you bust up because i stole the box somehow what i thought homie I can't get that i barred well, that what i barred it why well, bogey did i know i, I chipped did. it i chipped it into the circle and didn't even have to putt that was a par huh honky can't catch a break yeah why did, you, right. why did you give me a bogey and I, why did you not get a you were already at eight under why didn't you did we flip flop in there somewhere? I wasn't paying enough attention. Did I chip your? I don't know. Oh, did you? Oh, I bet I did. I wasn't paying attention. That, you finished, and I just went and did. But like, did we? I think. I we mean, I'll find out when I watch the stream back. I, I but bet we did. I bet we did a flip flop in there yeah. somewhere, and you parred for me, and I just, <laughs> I just bogeyed for you. Uh, I gotta save that good score of yours. <laughs> this whole thing is now totally suspect. Oh shit! How did we miss that? I, I'm just assuming that's what happened. I mean, again, I'll watch the stream back. I'll be, find out. I forgot you had to chip. I just saw a chip and went yeah, up there. Yeah, God, I swear to God, we haven't been drinking that much. <laughs> All right, 89. It's another dagger. God damn, dude. I know, right? Like, that one's long, but, but I had to feather that. That was too much club. It had to be too much club. 
Um, so yeah, I careened over it by, oh my God, it's got me in yards yet. So I'm 27 feet long there. Uh, a little pole, probably a week. Nope, long, jeez. 95 with that crappy ass pull. <laughs> All right, well, it's got my name up there, so at least get this one right this time. There you <laughs> Yeah, no shit. <laughs> Enjoy my par. I mean, I don't really pay attention to it that closely, but obviously it's one of those things Which is funny should. because it's like the one time you bogey and it... Right. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Oh, God. Oh, saddle. I uh, hit that a little stanky and it hit that oh. hill and popped up. Oh, it's still you, bud. Oh, yeah, of course. I just hit them long, so you'll put balls down for me to hit. Mm. Oh, hammer what? stroke! I did not hammer that. Oh, my gosh. That was not that hammered. It was a the foot uphill, for Christ's sakes. Beat down. That was a foot uphill, and I did not hit that that hard. That's some bullshit right there. <laughs> yeah, 32 feet on a foot uphill. Like, how hard am I supposed to fucking hit it? <laughs> Piper. Why well, that hard? Oh, nice about, follow. About that hard, I guess. I guess. All right. <sighs> Frustrating. 27, a foot uphill. Oh, what, I push it? Yep, I did. That explains that. It's like that thing jumped insta-right. Insta yeah, I gave you the par. <laughs> you gave yep, me that's what happened. <laughs> that's what happened. So yeah, we'll watch back on the stream and we'll see who fucked it up. But no, it, it was me for sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was you, yeah. It was I me. think you're the one who done, it, done us in. Yeah, just too many doubles. One, two, three, four doubles out there. Yeah, and I mean, that one, the first one was explainable because you were out of bounds. Like, crap happens, right? Like, you're mm -hmm. going to take a double in that scenario. The other ones were just you going to the zoo. Yeah, I just, I'm not, I don't have it all together. All right, well, let's figure out a way to get it all together if you need to burn one more half an hour. Yeah, another half hour would be just All right, fine. stream. Let's just hang on and make more content, shall we?